Like, let's start. All right, let's start here. here. This was going to really make some of y'all go down. Yeah, this is the thing. So there's a post for I Show Speed on Rappers Captured. Shout out to y'all. Yeah, shout out to Rappers Captured. Man, that's a tongue twister. Right Ten there. rappers that I Show Speed has more monthly listeners than. He's a big rapper, too. Kevin Gates. He has more monthly listeners than Sofago. Tied with Glorilla. Crazy. More monthly listeners than Ice Spice. Crazy. Mm. More monthly listeners than ESTG. More monthly listeners than Sleazy World Go. Coyla Ray, Lucky, DDG, and Freddie Gibbs. Crazy, bro. Crazy. I mean, we're talking about career rappers in some of these cases or Glorilla, like, hot. At the moment. Yeah, it's a, it's a right. couple of different niches inside. You got Kevin Gates and Freddie Gibbs, not legacy artists, but very well established mm-hmm. core fan base artists, right? Doing better than them. So Fago, Glorilla, Ice Spice, ESTG, Sleazy World Go, hot artists, like currently up and coming hot artists with a viral song. Cola Rap would throw in that same bucket too. Um, and then Lucky's is in that weird, like underground, but I got a big coat fan base type of space. You know what I'm saying? Like he ain't all the way up here, but he ain't all the way down there. You know, mm-hmm. so it's like these are artists that represent. A bunch of different demographics across the music industry. And yeah. he is doing better than all of them, bro. That's crazy. He has 6.4 million plus monthly listeners. 25 million on his song called World Cup. 36 million on a song called Shake. 16 million on a song called Ronaldo. 14 million on a song called Bounce That Ass with two dollar signs for the S because you know how it got to go. And Shake Part 2 Get Down has 3 million. Sheesh. Out here, bro. Those are some serious numbers. Crazy. And bro. he ain't even a real artist. And if y'all listen to the music, y'all be like, what the hell? I'm not gonna even lie. You know what I mean? I think I could <laughs> confidently say this and feel like he wouldn't fully be offended because he doesn't seem to make a career as an artist. So I say that, like, bro, this 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 ain't great music. <laughs> it just isn't. Yeah, I don't think he'd be offended by yeah, that. Yeah, I I I think that's part of the joke and everything, but it's killing it. So, Jacory, can you explain I show speed to the people? First off, speed is an anomaly. He can't be explained. Mm. He just is. <laughs> he ought not to play, but <laughs> but no, nah, but Speed is like this this really popular um, YouTube streamer. Mm-hmm. Um, like, but he's like a big troll is the best way to put it. But he he's uh, well known for streaming with like Kasanat, who's like another popular streamer, but on Twitch, um, Aiden Ross, like they all kind of like at least at this point are, are cool with each other. And I know personally, I wasn't familiar with him until. Maybe around five, six months ago, mm-hmm. um, I learned about him and Kyle at the same time. They had a bunch of different clips like going viral on TikTok. Speed more so because of how like outlandish his antics tend to be. Like he's a he's a character, bro. If you've never watched the Speed video, like go watch the Speed video. It's gonna be wild at first, and you you grow to love him. You know, he's a very lovable guy. You know what I'm saying? Very cool. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? When he's normal, like he's he's very chill down to earth. And when he's in character, he's in character. You know what I'm saying? Um, and I appreciate that about him. He don't break character for nothing. And I think that's, I like my influencers to not break character. You know what I'm saying? At least not while the camera on, you know what I'm saying? Do it off, off screen. So I don't know exactly when he started making music, but the World Cup song is the song where I first became aware that he even made music. Um, and I was talking to you about it before, but when it was timely, like the World Cup is, is currently going on as, as we talk about this, right? So mm-hmm. he, he called that right at the top of the World Cup. So now everybody looking that shit up, you know what I'm saying? Looking for it. I think his video is still like the number three video on YouTube and probably because it's about the World Cup. You know what I'm saying? I think it was about just mm-hmm. like his other songs. It wouldn't have went as far. So he has this, he has the, the, the streaming audience, massive streaming audience. I think his YouTube channel is like crazy, bro. Like maybe three, four million, you know what I'm saying? Uh, subscribers. Um, he has an audience already. He makes a timely song of 14 million. My bad, Speed. If you see this, bro, I mean, no disrespect about that three, four million, bro. I don't, I don't want to shit on your numbers like that. But 14 million subscribers, um, arguably one of the largest streamers out right now. You know, Twitch and YouTube, we talk both of those. I think he's at least top 10, you know what I'm saying? Um, the streams I've watched, bro, easily bring in like 200,000 to like half a million people to stream. You know what I'm saying? Like crazy shit. And I know the other thing that that made him go crazy, um, I think he was one of the first YouTubers. I might be wrong. It might have been Kyle I'm thinking of, but one of them was like the first one to hit like a million subs on, on like Twitch or some crazy shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Um, and they, they got like a lot of press around that. But yeah, but he's just another influencer that I think 
is doing music because they think it's fun and his audience is right there having fun with him. And because of that, he has six million monthly listeners. You know, like I mean, World Cup alone, we can do the math on it, you know what I'm saying? That's at least that's at least a hundred K off of just Spotify, you know what I'm saying? I ain't trying to be in the man pockets and that, but you know, I know my streaming numbers and what that equates to. <laughs> <laughs> that's about eighty to hundred K, depending on what the countries, you know what I'm saying, are streaming. Oh, or what the song is streaming at, you know? So I personally have nothing against it. You know, you know my stance on influencers turn artists. I like it personally. You know what I'm saying? I was I was broken into that culture by DDG personally. You know what I'm saying? So I, I don't mind it. Um, now I personally like this generation of influencer turn artists more than the ones that kind of started, like the Rice Gums and shit like that. I ain't, I ain't really fuck with them or the Paul Brothers and shit. Um, because where theirs felt almost predatory to the music culture, speed and I think DDG and some of these other influencer turned artists, like it just feels like they're just like having fun. Like there are people who grew up in the culture who in their life has never wanted to make a rap song. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like everybody's wanted to do it. He just is lucky, not even lucky, but blessed enough to have an audience that could actually make that shit go. That's the only difference between him and your cousin that keeps telling you every Christmas that he about to write some shit that's gonna come out next year. Like, all right, cuz, I'll do your thing, man. I don't believe you, but you know. Whatever makes you happy. You have fun, do your thing. Okay. Let me take a quick second to say if you're an artist trying to blow your music up or if you're a manager, a music professional in general trying to help an artist blow their music up, I have something that's a game changer for you and it's completely free. As you may know, we've helped multiple artists go from zero to hundreds of thousands of streams. We've helped multiple artists go from hundreds of thousands to millions of streams, chart on Billboard, go viral, all of that stuff. And we've now made the way we've branded multiple artists and helped them go viral completely free, step by step in Brandman Network. All you have to do is check out brandmannetwork.com. You apply. It's completely free. But the thing is, We're not going to let everybody in forever. So the faster you apply, the better your chance of getting accepted. Brandmannetwork.com. Check it out. Back to the video. Man, it's crazy to see. Because, of course, when someone has one viral song, I'm like, all right, you know, anybody can catch that. It's just the fact that he has, you know, a song with 25 million, a song with 36 million. Because the World Cup isn't even his greatest streaming song. I didn't know about the Shake song. Yeah, but World Cup right. also just came out a month ago. Shake that came well, out a couple months ago. That's fair. Yeah. So it's probably going to outstream it based on the pace, yeah. right? But the Ronaldo song has 16 million. Yeah, I mean, it's got there. I don't know how fast it's moved, but it's at 16 million at this point. And then both of those, you know, soccer related. Mm-hmm. So is soccer like a serious thing for him? Or yeah, he loves soccer. So he he loves uh, soccer. I don't, you didn't you didn't see the video of him crying because uh, I think because Spain got knocked out. Knock out the world. I Cup. heard about that video. Yeah, he was like crying on his live stream. Went yeah, viral. Yeah. Crazy. Crazy speed. I felt speed. You know what I'm saying? So I get the World Cup and Ronaldo song going because his love for soccer probably emanates to his audience. He probably has a lot of audience that also watches it and connects with him in that way. Mm. So it's something you can play with. But Shake, why? I think. Because I wasn't watching him at that time. I honestly don't know. I think Shake might have caught a moment on TikTok. I could be wrong though, but Shake also is like, it's kind of in the same lane as Jersey. What is it? Jersey Club music, mm. and Jersey Club music is having a moment on TikTok. Mm. Like, you know, at least as of this year, um, Jersey Club music has gotten a lot of recognition because of TikTok. Got you. So I, I, a part yeah. of me feels like he might have just like right time, right right timing. You know, like drop the song at a good time. TikTok is starting to fuck with me. I'm going up. You know, and it just kind of hit over there. But I honestly don't know how that one came out. Because like I said, World Cup was when I even became aware that he made music. Before, I just thought he was this goofy motherfucker on the internet. You know what I'm saying? Right. And then the World Cup video came out. I was like, oh, is this like an ad? Is this sponsored? <laughs> I was like, oh, this is serious. Like, this shit is on DSPs. And then, you know, kind of went down a rabbit hole from there. But, yeah, I don't even I think, because I think he just started releasing music maybe last year. See, it's like these brands to me, like when I see people like him, I think about people who learn from Boonk and figure, how do I do this better without the risk, right? The the risk of danger, Mm -hmm. the harm to myself, the the unfounded, I won't say unfounded, the, the polarization in the wrong way where you're creating 
people who are following you for the wrong reasons, and then people that you're going to want to like you to hate you. Mm. All right, like a lot of the things of how Boom moved was that. All right, even though he created a really big moment really fast. I think all those influences learn from them. I feel like they yeah. learn. Yeah, yeah they a learn lot of them yeah. watch people like him. And this is where I go back to the idea of does anybody can benefit from marketing without being a marketing genius, mm. right? And people will do things and think, oh, this person's a marketing genius. They're a genius. How they're doing it. But it just happened. There's a plenty of organic moments that just go and make things pop. Or you just like doing things, you can lean in and maybe troll a little bit, but mm. trolling is not marketing genius. All right. That's where I like to draw the line. Like trolling is not marketing genius. These random moments that happen, all of these things can be used in as a part of marketing, but there's a lot more that connects it all. And you start to see that over time in terms of where it gets channeled. Yeah. Does the career last? And um, or does it get channeled to the people to, that you actually want to monetize in the bucket that you want to stay in? There's there's a lot of things that go to it. And I feel like in the music industry, especially, we lightly throw out terms like, oh, man, they're a genius. They're, they're marketing shit that they just did. When it's just people trolling or being polarizing, which are easy things to gain attention. But there's so many more tiers to marketing. And I feel like you, I don't know, I feel, I feel like we're too loose with that term, man. Like the, the clout we give towards people marketing abilities. Cause I've heard that term thrown out on a lot of people that you don't even hear about no more. I'll mm-hmm. say that. Yeah, I was a, uh, I was calling Lil Pump a marketing genius back in 2018. You know, I've seen the error of my ways. You know, I was young. <laughs> <laughs> you know, just good at getting attention, marketing, and that's even the one thing. I think people think getting attention is marketing. Mm. It's Again, a start. It's a start. It's yeah. a part of marketing, right? And getting attention for better or worse is is there is some things that you could do, a few boxes that you could pretty easily get attention in, mm. you know, in, in our industry. Now, who is a marketing genius in music? As an artist, I would like to have a comment one day, a convo about which artist that we would probably say. We should do a ranking. Yeah, a ranking. Yeah, I could. I, I feel like if I thought hard enough about it, I could come up with at least three. All right, yeah. Yeah, we could we could we could do the ranking, and the ranking probably would be some shit they argue about in the comments. I'm I'm for that person. Yeah, I, I like that. <laughs> All right, bet. All right, bet. We we're definitely gonna do that one day. I'm gonna go ahead and put that on the list. 